Hey there. So, uh, right off the top, I want to apologize for the bad audio. Um, my, my actual mic, uh, this guy right here, um, it's got a dead 9 volt, and I, I don't have time to go out and get a new battery, plus shoot this today. I'm, I'm kind of strapped for time. So, we're going to deal with some shitty audio. Hopefully, next time I have a better mic. And I don't know if the auto tracking is working on this focus, so we'll find out. Um, anyway, so, finally in my new, well, yeah, my new uh, office in the new apartment, um, got my computer and stuff all set up uh, for doing my work, um, my video, video work, color and stuff like that and everything. Um, please ignore the little bit of a mess over here if you can see it, but uh, slowly get the place put together. Um, but I needed to... Finally, uh, kind of check in. I know I did that quick little vlog um, a week or two ago, so I wanted to be more consistent now that we're moved. Um, I have another video that I'm going to be putting out that I shot last week or two weeks ago. I don't know, before I threw up my shoulder. Uh, I messed up my shoulder. Uh, I've got like a little bursa sack that uh, was really bad last week. I can move it around a lot more now, but I still have some points where it's in a bit of pain. Um, but I shot something before I got hurt, and then I had, didn't have a chance to edit it, and then I got hurt, and so now there'll be two quick videos. Um, that one I don't know how good it's going to be because I was limited as far as where I can place my camera. Um, I didn't, I couldn't find my tripod, uh, through the move, got my tripod now. Um, so yeah, I got a little, uh, another little video, it's not so much a vlog, it's more on the cooking side of things that I said I would start doing, and I'm going to start doing um, yeah, so, uh, where are we health-wise? <laughs> okay, so, like I said, I had the issue with the shoulder, um, that's been bothering me for a couple weeks, um, it got really bad last week, um, but if we just kind of rewind a little bit over the last couple months, where things have been going, um, as you're all aware, we were finally moving to our own place, we've moved to Kitchener, um, the last, I'd say the last month, month or two, I guess, um, living in Scarborough, uh, was getting really difficult for us to do any cooking whatsoever at home. Um, I'm not going to get into all the reasons why, but it was, it was getting difficult. So there was a lot of, a lot of eating out, a lot of, uh, yeah, just not eating what I'm supposed to be eating, period. Um as best as, try to eat as best as we could, but, you know, options are kind of limited when you're eating it all the time, so, uh, I, I, I think I put on 10 pounds or so, um, I, I don't have my scale here, uh, we keep forgetting to bring it, so I'm hopefully gonna get to the gym today or tomorrow to get back into my routine, um, at which at one, at one point I will finally weigh myself, but, from the last time I had a weight update, I think I was saying I was around 3, 329, 330, somewhere in there. Um, I think I've gone up about 10 pounds. I know, well, I know I've gone up 10 pounds since then. I just don't know where I'm sitting as of today. Um, so yeah, there was a lot of just, you know, just not eating properly. Um, I'm not gonna, not gonna deny it, not gonna hide it. Um, we just didn't eat very well for, for about a month or two. Um, and that's, you know, it's just the way it is. Um, but now we've moved, uh, been eating a lot better, been cooking all the time, um, hardly, hardly go out. I have had, like when we first moved in, we had pizza, uh, you know, it's kind of a tradition once you, you know, on the moving day you have some pizza, so I had that. Um, but the rest of the time it's been um, eggs, chicken, uh, I don't know, the typical stuff, I found a couple new recipes I really like, um, there's this, uh, salad, or, sorry, salad, jeez, uh, coleslaw that I, 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 first off, I hate coleslaw, I've never liked coleslaw, I've never enjoyed it, um, I think it's always because the, the dressing that people put on it, it's either, like, really wet or just doesn't taste very good, I don't know, it's just, for a lot of reasons, it's just, I've never liked coleslaw, um, but in the last two weeks, I found a recipe for a, a keto coleslaw, um, and I'll actually I'll, I'll do a video on that soon because I, I do like it. I probably have it a couple times a week now. But it's you know 
coleslaw as you would with cabbage. Um, but uh, to, to spice up a little bit, you cook some bacon, about four strips. Um, you take that bacon fat, you put it in a bowl, uh, the, yeah, the bacon fat itself, uh, some mayonnaise, some apple cider vinegar, and some Dijon mustard, and that becomes your dressing for the coleslaw. Um, then you got your cabbage, and then you put in uh, those pieces of bacon, you chop them up, you throw in some cheese, and you throw in some chives, and it's like a loaded baked potato. So if you like baked potatoes, or you still love baked potatoes, but you're trying to eat something more sensible, um, it's definitely nice. Uh, it, it, yeah, <laughs> it's it, you know, as much as you may miss having potatoes, uh, that that coleslaw is really good. Um, I'm slow, slowly becoming addicted to it. A um, couple other recipes we come come up with, uh, just things on our own, like um, uh, some chicken wings, um, doing like some dry rub chicken wings, baking them in the oven, uh, jalapeno poppers. These things are, I I know everybody knows about them, but I just you know finally kind of made some the other day, but uh, you know, stuffing a jalapeno with some cream cheese, wrapping it in bacon, bacon in the oven, <whistles> amazing. Um, I even took, uh, for some of that, I took some of the cream cheese and I mixed in some hot sauce, uh, which, you know, you gotta watch on the sodium with everything, but that was a nice little snack, it was pretty good, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, it's, uh, you know, it, just kind of getting back in the groove of eating everything properly. Um, it's been a long time of I mean, from, from where the year started, from being super hardcore of every single day, going to the gym every single day, eating, eating as being super, super, super strict on what I was eating every single meal, counting everything, um, the first six months of the year were fantastic for me, uh, and then, like I say, as soon as I started getting back into working again, um, because I was finally physically able to start moving around, the focus on me kind of dropped a little bit. So now I have to find this balance. Now that I, I don't have the excuses of not being able to cook, we've got the kitchen. Um, I have a gym literally at the other side of the parking lot of our building, um, which I haven't been able to work out in since we moved here. I've had a membership for a month, um, but I haven't got a chance to work out yet. I don't know that, the reasons why. But this is the sort of like, this is the confession video. Um, where here's all the things I've been doing wrong, um, trying not to make, I'm not trying to make excuses for them, although some of it, explanation usually is an excuse, I'm um, just owning up to, to what's been going on with me and just recommitting myself to what I'm doing going forward. Um, so yeah, so the, uh, if, if I go back a little bit, um, uh, back in July, I think it was July, was it July? July or August, I can't remember. <laughs> anymore. Um, it was a friend of mine's, uh, a good friend of mine, uh, his bachelor party, and uh, a group of guys, just, we went up to, uh, up near the Muskokas there, and um, we were away for a weekend, and, um, you know, I, I, I hadn't drank uh, since, since January. Um, it wasn't that my intention was to now be a sober person and never drink again. But I knew that drinking, uh, you know, plays a part in my blood pressure, uh, plays a part in weight loss, um, plays a part in my everyday health, so it's just something I don't want to do all the time. But, went away for the weekend, and I knew for a very long time that that's what I was going to be doing. I was going to be drinking at some point, um, and probably, you know, a bunch of guys away alone in the woods were probably going to drink quite heavily, which I did. So, uh, like, two days of pretty heavy drinking, um, and smoked as well. Um, but, uh, Monday, when I got, well, I guess I got back Sunday night, but anyway, Sunday night, Monday, as soon as I got back, uh, no more smoking, no more drinking, um, and that, that last, that continued until, up until, uh, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago was the same friend's wedding, so, um, you know, I would got back to my, for the most part, my, my normal lifestyle as it is now, uh, and then went away for the weekend, uh, to Niagara Falls, to uh, actually Niagara on the lake for the wedding, um, and there again, drank for a couple days and smoked a little bit, um, but have since come home and things are back to getting closer to where they were in the beginning of the year. Um, as I say, I, I haven't been to the gym yet. Uh, once we when we first got moved, um, I was here for I was here for the first week by myself. 
kind of just getting the place organized. Um, you know, we moved all of our stuff in, and then uh, my wife was still working for another week in Toronto before she moved to her new job here in Kitchener. Um, so I was here for the week by myself and just trying to unpack and get everything put away, organized as best as possible. Um, a lot of running around, hanging things, buying things that we still needed. Um, so I just ran out of time. And then, uh, then that week we went away for the wedding. Uh, and then at the wedding is actually where I kind of messed up my shoulder, um, which is really stupid. But I've, I've had this, I've, I, I don't remember if I've done a video of this before or not, but I've always had a little issue with this corner of the shoulder. Um, I've aggravated it playing footy in the summertime uh, when I was goaltending, jumping out to like make a save and I landed on my arm funny and just pinched something in here. But now I get, uh, a, like now I have like this bursa sack that every now and then if I do things funny with my arm, it just swells right up and it, it, the pain is excruciating. I can't move my arm. Um, I, I posted it on Instagram. I, I'm Mr. Glass. I just seem to constantly be getting hurt and it sucks, man. It's really frustrating. Um, all of last, like, so, so at the wedding, um, the way I hurt my shoulder actually was I had a couple suits I was carrying, and of course, you know, you hold them over your shoulder, and they just, I guess I twisted my arm funny or whatever I did, but pulling my suits around over my shoulder, um, I felt it a couple days later. It was bothering me. I went, I had worked a couple days. And then the following weekend, um, we were moving some, we were moving some more stuff and I was pulling this wagon and I guess I just, just pulled it the right way and yep, she went. <laughs> um, Sunday through Wednesday of last week, I pretty much didn't sleep. Um, I was in excruciating pain. I, I'd be lucky if I get 20 minutes at a time. Um, no matter what I did, if I, if I like, I, my shoulder was pretty much stuck like this against my body. I, even if I was standing up, this shoulder was coming forward. Uh, you could see like this big, like how swollen it was on my, on my body. But trying to, trying to do this was impossible. Uh, it, would, it was just excruciating to try and try and lift my arm in that, in that position. Trying to do anything to pull my arm away from my body just hurt. Um, I can't even begin to really explain how much pain it would cause for me to just get my arm away from my body. So it was really hard, like, even just trying to prop my arm up on a pillow or something. Try putting my arm in a sling to try and take some of the stress off my arm pulling on my shoulder. But even even in a sling, it was just it, it just hurt too much. So I kind of just grinned and bared for a number of days, um, and you know, ate a ton of Tylenol because um, of course I, I take I talked about this on Instagram, but like I I, um, I have mom blood pressure medication, so with that I I can't take uh, Advil or any type of anti-inflammatories. Um, so yeah, just kind of had to just kind of deal with the pain for like four or five days, um, icing as much as I could, putting icy hot on as much as I could, whatever I could, anything to just try and alleviate the pain, and just try and get the swelling to go down. And then around I would say like Wednesday or Thursday of last week, the swelling finally started to go down. But it was it was a good a good solid four or five days where it was just swole and absolute pain. And now I'm I've got most of my range of motion back. Like if I do this right here, it it stings a little, so that extension right there hurts. Um, there there's certain little positions where it's still a little it stings a little bit, um, but it's it's a hell of a better than what it was. <laughs> so um, so I'm I'm hoping now that with uh, with this kind of getting better, um, I need to obviously start doing more strength training because that's just like that's just a weak shoulder. So I got to go back in and start working on that stuff, start strength training and, and building up my muscles. So instead of pulling on the tendon, it's, you know, the, the muscles that are doing the work. So I gotta, gotta get back in. So I'm hoping either, I, I, I might go tonight and maybe just do a bit of cardio and stuff just to kind of, you know, get a sense of things. Um, but I'm hoping by, you know, hopefully by uh, tomorrow, I'll go in and start pushing some stuff around. Um, so that's where that is. Uh, new places come along good. Um, most things are put away. Uh, I guess I've got a few things in here that need to be organized a bit better. Um, I bought a sh I've got some shelves and stuff. I'll get Once I get this thing actually fully 
fully set up, I'll give you guys a better tour of my little room here. But as you can see, all this back here is all soundproof foam, or not soundproof, what the like sound dampening foam. I've got it in different places, all the walls and the doors and stuff, because this room is very, it was very echoey in here. I guess would you say uh, very wet in uh, audio terms. Um, so. It was very loud and very echoey in here, and I've tried to do what I can to to knock that down as much as possible. And I think I've done a pretty good job. It definitely sounds a lot different from when I first moved in here. Uh, but yeah, um, it's a hope the next video that I put up, I will promise I'll have a, a weight update. Um, I'll get some measurements done too. I uh, just gotta track down my tape measure, which may still be in the We got a few things still left with the mother-in-laws. Uh, the scale for one, um, I think my tape measures might be there. There's a couple of like little odds and ends, but yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll get there, so we'll get back there, probably get back there this weekend, and or this coming weekend, and uh, get the few things that we're missing, get them picked up, and, and finally be fully moved out of there. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's really it for now. Um, if you guys, uh, if anybody has any questions about anything, um, you know, please feel free to uh, to ask in the comments or you know message me on Instagram. Um, I you know I, I sound like a broken record, and I hate sounding like a broken record. It's one of my one of my personal things of me that is my pet peeve of me is uh, saying you're going to do something and then doesn't happen so that's why you know that's kind of why I started this whole vlog thing in the very beginning is to keep me true and honest and make sure I do fall through what I'm saying I'm going to do um, so I know it's been been a rough couple months of uh, sticking with it um, I haven't gone backwards which is a good thing it's not like I'm putting on tons of weight and stuff um, but I haven't been pushing as far forward as I'd like to and between now and the end of the year, um, I'm going to give myself another a really serious commitment, a real serious push here um, to try and close out this year strong. Um, am I down? Right now, let's say I'm down. I'm down 30 pounds from the beginning of the year. Um, if I can, if I can end this year with losing 50 pounds for the whole year, um, I know it's not the <laughs> the 100 pounds I was hoping to do, but 50 pounds is 50 pounds, and, um, I mean, I, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to lose more than that, but my goal at this point between now and the end of the year is another 20 pounds, so if I can be, um, what would that be, three, so overall, what would be 50 pounds now, so if I get down to like 320, if I get down to 319, actually, if I get to 319 or lower, um, I'll look at this being a bit of a successful year. I mean, any progress is successful. It's just, it's not to the level that I want it to be. But, yeah. So that's my goal. Get down in the year. Get down to at least 320, or 319, sorry. Um, and anything of, over and above that by the end of the year would be fantastic. And I'll be happy about it. Um, you know, because I still, my goal is to get down to uh, 195. <laughs> It's crazy to think about it. It's crazy to think that it's, it's a possibility that, you know, I could get there. And I will get there. Um, but when you're sitting at 360 pounds and you're talking about getting 195 pounds, that's, uh, that's a whole other person. Um, so, yeah, that's where we're going to go. That's what the plan is. Um, that's it. That's it. That's it for today. Um, I do promise I'm going to try and get to... Uh, now that we're moved, we've got the work schedule kind of being a bit more solid. Uh, I'm going to figure out a, a, a more a more consistent shooting schedule. And once I can get this stuff all worked out, I'm going to actually try to have two videos a week. Whether it's two vlogs a week or a vlog and some uh, recipe video or whatever it is. But I'm going to get down, I'm going to try and get to two vlogs a week or two videos a week uh, within the next couple weeks. But for now, I'm going to try and get, the, get myself the one video a week. And then once I get the get everything kind of moving in the proper direction. I'm going to get us down to uh, get into two videos a week to get more uh, get more consistent with this. 
And with consistency of the videos, it means there's also consistency in the gym, there's consistency in, in the nutrition, um, which is what ultimately what this is all about. Um, but I know that, uh, I know that the, the communication part is, is big and, and I've actually been surprised by a number of people that have come up to me and talked to me in person about, um, about actually watching these videos and, um, yeah, I've had some very, very nice talks recently uh, with some good friends that, uh, I had no idea that they were actually paying attention, but they were and, um. And I appreciate the appreciate some of the words that have been said. Um, it definitely uh, still definitely helped reignite a fire under my butt to make sure I continue with this. So, thank you. Um, yeah, please uh, like and subscribe and share this video with people if you feel like it. Uh, send me a message, um, you know, message in the comments below. And yeah. Thanks for coming again.